Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from the Half Century of Progress show in Rantoul, Illinois, where every two years, over 1,000 pieces of farm machinery come together, and some of those farm machines head out to the field to plow up over 200 acres of ground in a plowing demonstration. What I really like about this show is you never know what's going to show up to take part in these demonstrations. And in this video, we're going to take a look at one of the rarest John Deere tractors that is out there and one of the most unique tractors I've ever seen take part in the plowing demonstration. The special tractor we're going to take a look at from the plowing demonstration at the Half Century of Progress show in this video is a John Deere WA-14 four-wheel drive tractor produced under contract by the Wagner Tractor Company of Portland, Oregon from 1968 through 1970. John Deere contracted with Wagner to build two articulated four-wheel drive tractors during this time period to fill in a gap in their tractor line that was left vacant after production of the 8020 four wheel drive ended and before the new 7020 tractor came online in the early 1970s. The tractors that were built by Wagner were the model WA14 rated at 225 horsepower and the WA17 rated at 280 horsepower. The Wagner built John Deere four wheel drives became very limited additions with only a few of each model being produced. A total of 23 WA14 and 28 WA17 models were produced. The limited production of these machines from late 1968 through early 1970 saw a recent auction of a WA17 bring $80,000. These are highly sought after and collectible models, and it was exciting to actually get to see a WA-14 plowing at the Half Century of Progress show. Let's take a quick look at the specifications of the WA-14 four-wheel drive tractor. It's powered by a 14-liter 855 cubic inch Cummins N855CI engine rated at 225 horsepower. It features a fuller RTO 910 transmission with 10 forward and 2 reverse speeds. The tractor is equipped with a 120 gallon diesel fuel tank and weighed in from the Portland, Oregon factory at 26,520 pounds. The original price tag of a WA-14 was $35,990. Because of the rareness and collectability of the Wagner built John Deere four wheel drive tractors, they're not a tractor you're just going to stumble across and see on the side of the road working out in a field. And it was truly exciting to get to see and hear this WA-14 plowing at the Half Century of Progress show. I honestly never thought that I would see one of these tractors in the field. Before we head out and see and hear this machine in action, let's take a moment to talk with the owner of this tractor. And we're here with Tom Renner who is the owner of a WA-14, and you may have uh, seen Tom on YouTube with Machinery Pete, uh, reviewing a big collection of tractors that he has, but I'm particularly excited to see this WA-14, because we actually got to see it in action, kicking up some dust here at the show. And Tom, thank you for bringing it out to the show so people can actually see and hear one working. Uh, what can you tell us about the tractor and the plow that you have here? Uh, this is a 1216 John Deere plow with a squadron hitch on the back and we picked it up a few months ago and rebuilt it. And this 14 I bought four or five years ago from a very good friend of mine. And basically, uh, what you see, the side panels and the hood decals are all original, 1961 original. We did touch up the frame in that and uh, did some work on the rest of the tractor and that, but it's tried to keep it as original uh, as possible. Well, it's, uh, it's amazing to see one, and I know were there are between the 17s and the 14s, just about 60 of them all together made, or? Yeah, I think there's 34 or something like that, these 14s, not very many at all. No, it's, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of four-wheel drives, but I've never actually seen one of these uh, out in the field. This is a turbocharged Okay. so it, that helps out the most part. It did a pretty good job with his probe bottom plow in some awfully tough conditions. As a, the plow is kind of somewhat rare today too, being, is that from the mid-70s, John Deere yeah, had that? or a plow. Okay. Squadron hitch, yeah, so it's an early 70s plow. Well, that's great to, uh, to see this in action, and I just really appreciate you bringing it out to uh, Rantoul, because you never know what's going to show up here. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see here, that's for sure. So uh, well, I, I include, highly encourage everyone to check out Machinery's uh, Pete's video with Tom and check out a really impressive collection of uh, tractors. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing more from Tom and um, all the great tractors he has. 
Thank you much. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed visiting with Tom. I will put a link of his tractor collection walkthrough tour with Machinery Pete in the description area of this video. Now let's head out to the field so you can see this big tractor at work. you've enjoyed hearing and seeing this John Deere WA-14 tractor plowing. It's definitely a tractor that most people have never had the opportunity to see working in the field. Even when it was brand new 50 years ago, with only 23 built, it was not a common machine to come across. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube with over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 